this video, we are going to transform the flipper zero into a CO2 sensor. So let's get ready. We will need the module MHZ19. And for the application side, either you install from source like always, or you could use your favorite custom firmware. Regarding the wire, it's pretty easy, only through wire. One for the data, once for the power and the ground, of course. Now, let's talk about the module itself. It's a bit pricey, around 25-ish dollars or euro, whatever you want. I used to work with it on the M5 stick here, but yeah, I didn't quite uh, finish my setup. So I kind of want to have something modulable that I could like use whenever I want on the M5 stick or on the Flipper Zero. Otherwise, if you only want to use it on the Flipper Zero, then let's solder it on a prototype board. So that's why I have decided to use some header pins and I have ordered like a very long um, board here and I decided to break them. But it was not a good idea. I definitely recommend you to use specific size that are made, for, made of, otherwise like little pins will uh, fall apart. That's why I use here like the glue gun to fix them and make them really sturdy in the end. So here, here we go. It's pretty solid now. So here I'm checking again if it stays well within the headers. And yes, it is. So now it's time to place it on the prototype board. Once you are happy with some design, let's say, you could take your iron solder and start soldering. So here I'm not an expert, but I just try to put enough metal here to make it really sturdy in the end. Because, you know, one you put in and out the module, in the end I might break the connectors. Now it's time to put the connectors for the Flipper Zero and the prototype board and here I definitely struggle so it would be better in the future if I have some crocodile um, pins to hang them and maybe have more like let's say flexibility when I want to have certain angle and solder so I use the flipper zero just to, to hold it but I Take care, in this video, no harm was done to any animals. So now I'm happy actually with the result. I will test on the Flipper Zero if I could like plug and remove the board. Once this is done, I'm going to actually solder the different pins, which is like the 5 volt, the ground and the PWM from the module into the different pin on the prototype board. 
tend to make it easier and if I want to reuse the board or cut and decide to do whatever I want, I use some additional wire on the back. So here, this pin here will be for, for the data in the end. Now it's time for a demo. So we are going to browse into application, then GPIO, and then hit the sensor folder. And in the sensor folder, we have like so MHZ19. And here we could like see the value, which is okay. No 200 seems to be low here especially inside so i suspect there is like some issue ongoing with the calibration of my module i need to make extensive research on this and see how to get more real value okay if it sounds okay thank you for watching this video and stay tuned